what a shame for the NBA when they finally were getting their ratings back up again. Yeah. It was and a great feeling when the season ended. People, yeah. w- the brand was good. The Even the if you hated the Miami Heat, the highest I mean, it's been you watched in a while. them, and the Mavericks, of course, were a great story, and boom, it's, you know, this is the worst timing at all for, yeah. the, for the NBA. It's not good for the brand, and, um, you know, when you lose fans, I mean, that fans make the league. I mean, yeah. you got to have fans. Yeah. It, mm-hmm. it makes everything else go, and so they're not... They need to get it together. You can't. I don't think they can afford at this point to be out a whole season. They have. They have such a. T- here's the thing, and this is the difference between football. There was no owner not making money in football. Right. right. Now there were some owners making a lot more money, money than some of the others. Right. Yes. But they are all making money. Yes. Right. They're all making probably a lot more money than e- we even realize they're probably making. Absolutely. Now you have some owners that are making money in the NBA. You have some owners that are saying that they're not making money, but they are really making money. Mm-hmm. Then you have some owners that aren't really making money. Right. I, I, I always take this standpoint, and this is just because I've always been on the labor side, that mm-hmm. it's not the player's job for them to make money. Yes. Right. That that was a... Some sports franchises are a losing proposition going into it. Mm-hmm. Right. When it's you a buy, toy. When you buy the Milwaukee Bucks... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's probably a good chance that you're not going to Absolutely. necessarily make a lot of money on the Milwaukee right. Bucks. Right. That, you know, when you buy the whatever base Kansas City Royals, mm-hmm. right. that's, <laughs> that's going to be a tough go of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, the Astros initially. Yeah. I yeah. mean, their revenue is going to be off sure. for a minute. Yeah. They, can come, they can get it, get it back. Sure, but, but that's a different. I, I, I think mean, that's different. different in the sense that they've been to the mountaintop and right. this city's a big city. You can sell in this right. city. Right. But, you know, I, this notion that. Oh well, the owner's not making money. We need to change this revenue model so that everybody can make money. Yeah. Why? Yeah. They they knew they knew it going in. And just like they it, knew it going, and like you said, they don't buy they don't buy a Bentley because th- it's going to appreciate into <laughs> into you know, yeah, more money special. In, in ten years. Yeah. They buy it because it's a great toy to have. Yeah. And those owners do the same thing. Hey, yeah. look at me. Look look how big my ego is. Look how big you know this is. Look how every you know. Look at what look what I do. Look at this this you know go to all his friends and sit in his luxury box and say, hey, this is look at this sports franchise I own. Isn't it great? Yeah. Well, people you know, are giving Michael Jordan a hard time because he listen. He wanted the he wanted the split to be even a bigger gap. He was like forty nine percent. I think, but it, he's an owner now. He's not on the labor side, so mm-hmm. he's looking at zeros. If if he's you know you know if, if there's one thing the players union I would do is I would absolutely vilify him because he <laughs> deserves it a hundred percent. To, s- to do the things that he's done now as an owner. Now, you can say, hey, that's fine. If you're an owner, you're an owner. I completely understand, and you're a businessman, and you're going to be a businessman. But you've made a lot of money over your lifetime. You've made billions of dollars over your lifetime selling shoes and having these guys that now you're trying to take money out of their pockets mm-hmm. wearing these shoes sure. to s- then sell to the little kids. Mm-hmm. That were and at one point those were the little kids wearing your shoes when right, you were a player. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But th- there's and nothing now, about his career that would make you think he'd be any different, though. No, oh, absolutely. Oh, you you knew that it was. It's always been about MJ. I mean, it's he's never an been amazing about amazing player on the it's court. It's never been about but anybody there's nothing else. About, MJ. I mean, think yeah. about when he you know punched you know, like Steve Kerr's jaw out of place or something you know in practice when they was Ding him up, things like that. Oh, without a doubt. But I if I'm a players' that. union, right. I am I am absolutely boycotting everything that Michael Jordan has to do with. 100% absolute boycott of any apparel, any clothing, any sponsorships, everything. A- everything. I, I think you just wiped out half the league. I got to right. do, I gotta, I gotta <laughs> do my homework. And, and then now, and do now, my homework. Tell him, now tell him, go find some guys. I'm a Chicago kid. I tell gotta, him to go find some guys, too. Uh, I got to do my homework before I respond. I don't know what Tell him to go find in. some. He basically has come in now at the 11th hour and said, nope. We're not doing any deal 50 50. It's got to be. He wanted to be 47. Because remember, they started at 57. There's way more. This is on basketball. He wants to take take more money away from the players. Uh, This is the guy who started. They started at 57. Remember, as a player, when they did the last deal, this was something that they actually carved out a caveat for him where he could, his last couple years in Chicago, he can make 30 a year. Oh, yeah, so, I remember that. so right. as a, from the player side, he's always worked it for himself, right. and now the owner, the owner side, side, he's going to work it for he's himself. Work it for himself. Mm-hmm. And I'm just saying that, hey, if that's what he is, he's a businessman. Obviously, he should. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if I'm the players and I'm and I'm the players' association, mm-hmm. and I see him doing this, and I see another player now coming back at us. Mm-hmm. Well, it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be okay with me as a as a as a player, and as an association, it surely wouldn't. Mm-hmm. And if you want to hit him where MJ, that's all. It's obvious that's what MJ cares about is the pocketbook. Mm-hmm. 
if you want to hit them where it hurts, I'd start taking away a lot of those sponsorship deals and letting those run out mm -hmm. and see how many shoes he starts selling them, see okay. how much, mm -hmm. what he starts doing. Okay, but on the other side of the fence, if you're an owner, which he is now, forget his playing days. Well, he back is up to his playing days. days. The bottom line, early right? in his playing career, he didn't make he 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 didn't make lots of money on the court. No, he didn't. No, he, he didn't make he a lot of money on the court. The court. You know, and I, I think it's court. important to look at what the where the deal was. Last year, the players took fifty-seven percent of the basketball-related you know, right. revenue. That's that's before that the before before the no, and before all the deductions from right. players. Like so they were trying to, the, yeah. realistically, you know, you think if you get to 52 that they've made some decent concessions. So they've come down to 50. He wanted it to go to 47. And, that, and that's <laughs> so what that's it is. That's significant. It's at this point where <laughs> the players have given up some. And right. that's why, well, why don't the players, you know, give, they've given a lot. They've given a ton. And this is, and this is before the deductions from the owners. Because at 50-50, it's really 44. Yeah. So Remember how we that's went how through much it. They're, they're, they're going down. And the owners would tell you, we take the risk. We should take more. What I risk mean, do they take? Yeah. I, I love when the NFL, NFL owners say, say that. that. Right. Yeah. What risk are you taking? Yeah. I mean, I'm putting and the money said, up for And this they said, deal. well, we're putting the money up. They said, <laughs> okay, what's the last NFL franchise that failed? Hmm. None. There haven't been one. Yeah. You get, team value has gone up 500% in the last 20 years. Tell me another business. And, the, and the TV contracts. They said, oh, we're, st we're taking up all this. All right, we'll invest in all the teams. Yeah. Let us buy 20% let us buy, <laughs> let us buy of all the teams. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. We'll split, all the, we'll split all the costs. We'll take 20% of the like cost. It's like Green Bay, man. Nope, nope, mm, <laughs> nope, nope. We don't want to do that. Yeah. No, we don't want to do that. And that's you know they they act like they're taking all the risk, but believe me, at the end of the day, they don't want to share any of it either. You Absolutely. 